your door I know one thing for sure I've never been so close before It is Wednesday. It's August already. That's so wild. So just put Lila down for her first nap of the day. I had to clean the kitchen because last night I made pasta and I didn't wash the dishes and the whole house just smells like tomato sauce and it makes me so nauseous. So I had to get the kitchen cleaned. I have to finish editing a video and upload it. So once Lila's for sure asleep, I'm gonna go upstairs to my office and do that. I've been trying to utilize my office more because I have a good computer up there that I wanna to use to edit videos as opposed to my laptop, which the laptop is good, but if you're editing like long videos, it's kind of by the end of it, it craps out, so. Just gonna wait for Lila to fall asleep. Then I'm gonna go up there. And later, we're gonna go to the pool with Chelsea. Okay, so I'm gonna go help Lila fall asleep. We'll be back. You just fall. done. I was able to finish editing my video for today, respond to a whole bunch of emails that I haven't answered and felt good. Oh, I made my thumbnail. Just being productive. It feels so good to like be doing things again or it feels so good to do my normal things again and feel good about doing them. Filming videos and editing them like it no longer feels like oh oh my god like I can't I don't want to get out of bed I don't want to do anything it feels good but especially being in my office it just feels like I'm a real person because for most all of June and most of July Lila and I really just stayed in the bedroom or the living room I didn't do like anything so this feels good but this morning, the first clip of this vlog, it was super dark, but Lila had a really tough night because she got her shots yesterday, her two month vaccinations. So yesterday afternoon, she was just sleeping mostly and then she went to sleep, but she was waking up a lot more frequently than she usually does. And at four o'clock she woke up again and she was just like fussy. Like she w didn't want to eat. She kept spitting out her past fire. So I laid down, we have like a little twin bed in there now because it's just easier when she's fussing and whatever, if you just have to stay in the room. So I laid down on that and put her on me and I've been up since 4 a.m. because obviously I don't wanna fall asleep with her on me and once I'm up around four, like that's it, I'm just awake. So I was just on my phone for like two hours and then around six, I put her back to sleep and she slept for like an hour. So I slept for an hour. So I'm gonna need a lot of caffeine today. I'm just realizing that picture over there is so crooked and I wanted to film a video with that in the background so I should probably fix that. Let's go wake her up while well, she's awake so let's go get her up rather. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh goodness, your little arms are so cold. Today's outfit of the day. This is from Marshalls. What brand is this? 
Just One You. Oh, so it's Carter's. But I did get this at Marshall's. Oh. It's so cute. It has little flamingos on it. It came in a set. And then these are from Target, her little leggings. Oh. Why do you keep doing that? So here's my loungewear outfit of the day. I did order some really cute stuff that I can't wait to come in. Some of it's from Amazon coming today and then I ordered a really cute pair of shoes that are supposed to come tomorrow from Revolve. But we'll get to that bridge when, or we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So this is my outfit for today. Tank top is just Zara. This is a Princess Polly cardigan. I got it in the large, extra large because I wanted it to be a little oversized, which it is. And then these are new joggers that I got from Athleta. Now they're not the most forgiving fabric. I kind of like don't like the way the crotch area looks, but they're really comfortable and it's just like another option of loungewear. And I always am wearing socks in the house. I don't know how people are ever barefoot. I have to have socks on. I literally laid this out like an hour ago for Lila and of course Peach has already found it. So exciting! My Amazon stuff came. Usually the Amazon deliveries don't come until the end of the day. Okay, first I got this lounge set which is supposedly a dupe of this Free People lounge set that I like but it's $130 please. So this is the top and the bottom are like flare pants. I got it in a large. I'm very excited about this. And once I try it on, I'll do like an overlay of it. But very exciting. If this is cute, I'm going to order like a million of them because this is perfect for fall and winter when I'm home. And I want to look cute, but I want to be comfy. Okay, so this one isn't that exciting, but I did just get some Amazon socks because I, as I just literally said, I always wear socks at home. And usually in the winter I'm in fuzzy socks, but I've come to realize I love these crew socks. And then your feet aren't, you know, super hot. This was like $12 and you get six pairs of socks and they're really like, you know, cute little patterns. And then this is also very exciting. Did I need this? No. I love the furry Birkenstocks, but they're really expensive and honestly, like how much of the year can you really wear furry Birkenstocks? Like it's a weird concept. But I got these on Amazon. They're not Sherpa, they're advertised as Sherpa. They're just like fuzzy. I got them in a size 10 because I wanted to be able to wear socks with them. I mean, it looks really heinous with the red socks, but they're cute. So I will link all of this stuff down below. And I have one more very exciting delivery coming today. If you follow me on Instagram, I caved, but I'll surprise you once it gets here. We got another delivery. I actually forgot about this one. So clearly I was going through something over the weekend. I don't know. This is all stuff for Lila. Um, I was thinking she really didn't have many zero to three month onesies and I think she's gonna be in them for quite a while. But she does actually, so I don't know. But I got her some more leggings in zero to three. These are Old Navy and they look like they run a little bigger. So these will definitely fit her into the fall. And Old Navy was having a sale. It was like 30% off everything an additional, you know, 15%. So figured why not? She can literally never have enough onesies. So I got these in zero to three as well. It says it's up to 12 pounds, but she's 12 pounds now and this will definitely fit her for a while, so I don't know. If they are tight, then I'm gonna return them because I don't wanna have a million of these and she won't be able to wear them for long. And this is what I'm most excited for. 
This is in three to six because it's a sweatshirt, but how cute is this? I thought for the fall, this would be adorable. And then I got the matching leggings and then it came with a brown pair as well. So this will definitely be for like October, but I thought this was so cute. That's my Old Navy haul. I will link this stuff down below. She doesn't have any Old Navy clothes, but these look, I mean, they're definitely zero to three. I just don't want her to grow out of them in two weeks. I don't think she will. You just follow the heartbeat. Okay, I got Lila to take another nap. So I came up to my office and uploaded my video. But I love having this place to go that's just for me. And I'm not like in bed because I've said this in vlogs before, but when I'm home, if I'm not like in the kitchen or cleaning or doing something around the house, I'm in bed. That's just me. I just like to be in bed. That's like my comfort place. But I do like having this space to come up and then I can be productive because when I'm in bed, like, oh, I'm probably not going to get too much done. But I feel like today I was really productive. I finished editing and I uploaded that vlog. I went through a whole bunch of my DMs and linked some stuff that people have DM'd me about recently that I don't respond to. Like when I post a picture of Lila in that sweatshirt and my cardigan, usually I don't get to those kind of DMs for like a week because I don't really like weed through my DMs much. So I did that. I vacuumed the whole house, which is good. Not with a Dyson, with like our big vacuum which I never do. I just use the Dyson and the Dyson is good, but I feel like the Dyson is better just for hard wood. But when you have the carpet, I just don't feel like the Dyson gets into like the crevices, you know, or maybe it's just the one that I have. So I vacuumed everything, even up here, it was so dusty up here. And I'm just having a very productive day. I'm proud of myself. I definitely don't want to cook dinner. But I have that salad that I put together. We have a lot of pasta left over from last night. And I could make chicken because Jesse's back to eating gluten free. He has like a lot of stomach problems. So he typically tries to eat gluten free, which he hasn't been doing. So if I make the grilled chicken, then it will be a gluten free meal. All right, Chelsea just texted me. She's going to come over in like a half hour or so. But I wanted to show you my pool bag, which it's actually just marketed as a gym bag or whatever, but it's so amazing. And I want to say it was like $25. It's really big, but you can zipper this part so it's shorter. And it comes with this little pouch, which I thought was great. I keep all my sunscreen and tanning oils in here, which is ironic because I have literally not been in the sun all summer. <laughs> And it has a whole bunch of different pockets. It's great. And I feel like you could also use this as a diaper bag because it does have a lot of zipped pockets. So I just keep a changing pad, a regular diaper, and a swim diaper in there for Lila. I just wanted to show you that bag. I got it a few months ago, actually, and I just haven't shown it. But it's really great. I wanted to get, like, a really cute actual pool slash beach bag but I knew this summer I really wouldn't be at the pool and beach that much but I'm hoping next summer we will but you know there's still a full month of summer left a little bit more than that so I hope to really go to the pool a lot and go to the beach and just really try to utilize this time that I have because I, first of all I'm never off in the summer every summer of my life I've worked or been studying for the bar but I just want to be able to like do things and now that I feel better, I feel like I can. Thursday. Oh, there goes past fire. She's gonna be pissed. <laughs> it's Thursday. I had a little bit of a late start to the day because Chelsea and I enjoyed some beverages last night and I actually wasn't hungover, but I was just like out of it this morning. I had to take a shower 
do all that. So luckily I actually woke up before Lila, which is what I always try to do, but she's an early bird. So, but I did get up before her and made coffee and lounged. So this is the lounge set that I got yesterday. So comfortable. I feel it's like giving um, like cult vibes. Like if you've ever, there's a show that I watched. I don't remember what it was, but they all wore like this white, lounge looking outfit and that's what i'm feeling today but it's very comfortable i'm going to link it below if you are in need of a little lounge set this is perfect and it comes in so many colors i'm definitely going to order another one and it's cute like you could go out in this for sure and lila's wearing her old navy i decided to keep it i just threw it in the wash last night so i was like you know what we need this we're neutral queens today and I'm wearing my little furry Birkenstock dupes. I'm just really rocking out today. Okay, I have some YouTube stuff to do. I have to wash bottles like ASAP because I don't have any clean bottles right now and she's not gonna be happy if I don't have any bottles. Uh, yep. Uh, and that's the plan. So we'll see where today takes us. So this is what I was talking about yesterday, my special amazing delivery which is the Artie Pop Baby Carrier. I love this thing. Follow me on Instagram. I've wanted it since I had Lila. And then I finally just pulled the trigger because I've gotten 100 targeted ads for it. So pulled the trigger. Yes, it's way expensive, but it's so lightweight compared to my other carrier. And I feel like part of the issue, well, I feel like I could do a whole review on this already, but this distributes the weight so much more evenly than the one I had. I felt like the one I had put all of her weight right here and my back was killing me at the end of the day from wearing that. The Artie Pop one, I think puts more weight on your shoulders, which I prefer. Maybe if you prefer the weight on your back, maybe you wouldn't like this so much, but it's more evenly distributed. It's not all of your baby's weight right here. And that was really hurting my back. I find it a little bit more confusing to get on, but that's just because I'm used to the other one. But this is way easier to strap because you can do it yourself without reaching behind your head. With the other one, you have to clip it up here and I would always get all my hair caught in it and it hurts like hell. Lila's enjoying tummy time right now, so I don't want to put her in here and she's not crying because it is kind of annoying to wash bottles with this on. So once she starts freaking, I'll uh, put her in there and show you. But here's a little better look at my outfit though. There you go. <laughs> this isn't a good representation because you're crying. Get <laughs> oh. your foot stuck, I gotta get it. She fits snug as a bug. In here, it's good for her head control. You can also flip this up. And not that this is a big, you know, not that this part is that important, but it does come in the cutest box. It should because it's outlandishly expensive, but it's so cute. And you can also wear it as a back carrier, but I don't think she's old enough for that yet. And there's no way in hell I'd be able to figure that out. song so shallow and poor I almost sang along all through her door but I never did I never could Lila just woke up from her nap I don't remember when the last time I vlogged was actually but we did a little TikTok live and then she took a nap for like an hour and a half maybe. It was a good one. My hair, sorry, is just really doing its own thing, but I'm gonna make her a bottle and we're just still hanging. So it was extremely close. I just ordered lunch. I'm whispering because Lila's sleeping in the living room. 
my favorite chicken salad wrap. I need a dressing for it. And I'm gonna eat this and so watch Below Deck. Um, that's probably it. Okay, I finally got my last purchase. And I swear it's the last thing in this vlog that I will be showing that I bought. I got a pair of Birkenstocks. Chelsea inspired me. And then I follow this account on Instagram. I don't know what her handle is, but she has the cutest style. And she had these and I was like, oh my God, I have to get them now because I tried Chelsea's on and they were so comfortable. They feel like they're gonna be really comfortable. I just have to um, do this thing. So this is what they look like. I think they're so cute. Especially with like an outfit like this, I just feel like Birkenstocks go perfectly. So yeah, that's my last purchase of the vlog. It's six o'clock. After that shot of espresso, two shots of espresso, I was severely unwell. Severely. I was like nauseous, jittery. It wasn't going well for me. And it's still not going well, if we're being honest. So never again will I do or take to take like it's alcohol, drink two shots of espresso in like a five minute period. I've learned my lesson. Once Jesse's home from work and he is showered and not in his work clothes so he can be in the vlog. <laughs> Even on the weekends you're in your work clothes. <laughs> She's not happy, not sure why. She's just staring at you. All right, it is almost nine o'clock. Jesse's put in Lyle out of bed and I'm going to import all of this footage to my computer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. After I do that, I'm just gonna go to bed. Hopefully Lila falls asleep. She's kind of been giving us a little bit of a hard time. Like she'll fall asleep after like 40 minutes of trying to put her to sleep, sleep for like 40 minutes and then be up for like an hour. So hopefully she doesn't do that. But that's it. I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. So it'll be a separate video, but thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.